Thank you Porter Road for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be smoking up a beef shank, also known as Thor's Hammer. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got two beef shanks right here, again from Porter Road. One of them is just under five pounds, and this one over here is just over five pounds. So I'm gonna take them out of the package here. I cannot wait to get a close-up look at these beef shanks. Look at this bad boy. Holy smokes. This right here is why I love Porter Road. You can't find these cuts at your local grocery store and even some of your local butcher shops. Porter Road is an online butcher shop that delivers high quality meat directly to your door like these beef shanks. Porter Road works with trusted local farmers who raise their animals the right way, humanely on pasture with no added hormones or antibiotics ever. Porter Road does dry age all of their beef for 14 days and they hand cut each steak and they do a fantastic job of trimming all of their meats. Make sure you guys check out Porter Road and get 15% off your first order. I will be leaving a link down below, so please check them out. All right, so as you can see, I do have a little bit of silver skin. So I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna be using some butcher's twine to tie this together, because I'm afraid that if I cook it without the silver skin, it will actually fall apart on me, and I do not want that. So beef shanks can be a tough piece of meat, so I'm gonna be smoking them for quite a long time to break down that muscle and get it really nice and tender. All right, so I'm just gonna trim up the rest of the silver skin and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got our shanks trimmed up and I've got most of the silver skin and connective tissue removed. So now it's time to season these bad boys up. So the first rub that I'm using is from PS Seasoning. This is their Team USA Butcher's Blend. Check it out, it's got some pink Himalayan salt and some other amazing spices. I'm gonna add quite a bit. This is a giant piece of meat. And pat that down. And this rub's got some nice chunks of that pink Himalayan salt. This is gonna be delicious. It smells absolutely amazing. Get the bottom side. I'm gonna follow that up with a little bit more black pepper because I love black pepper. I'm gonna be smoking these standing up just like this because we do have some bone marrow in there. And I'm gonna be using that once I wrap these beef shanks. All right, I'm gonna season the second beef shank up. I've got my Yoder Frontiersman, AKA Pepe, warming up at 250 degrees. We will see you guys outside. All right, so I almost forgot to show you guys how I'm gonna truss these up. So I've got three strands of butcher's twine. Just gonna lay them down on my cutting board. We lay our beef shank over the twine. Pretty simple process. Cinch it down. Nice and tight and cut the excess butcher's twine off. Now that looks like a hammer. All right, so I'm outside of my Yoda Frontiersman and I do have it running at 250 degrees. I'm gonna be using Texas Post Oak from Gourmet Wood Products on today's cook. Let's load these bad boys up. All right, so I did have to move my top rack to the bottom because these bones are really tall. So I'm gonna be cooking these on the bottom rack-ish, if you will, just like that. Man, look at that. Is that a beautiful sight or what? All right, so I'm gonna let these smoke for about three hours. Again, 250 degrees. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, so the total cook time has been three hours. Let's take a look at our beautiful beef shanks. Holy smokes. So I'd like to get a little bit more bark on these. So I'm gonna let these go for probably a couple more hours. Get some really nice dark bark on this. I am gonna be spritzing this with apple cider vinegar and water. Probably in about 30 minutes, that surface is looking a little dry. But other than that, these are looking really good. 
All right, so the only thing I'm gonna do right now is rotate these from front to back. And I'm gonna be turning these as well. Just like that. Man, these smell absolutely amazing. All right, so I'm gonna let these go for a couple more hours. I am gonna be spritzing this again with apple cider vinegar and water in about 30 minutes. And we'll see you guys back in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, so five hours into our cook, and this is what our beef shanks look like. They've got an amazing color. Let's get an internal temperature and see where we're at. All right, I'm at 147 there. This is the bigger one. And this one's at about 151 degrees. So we got a long way to go to get these tender, at least 200 degrees. So I'm gonna wrap them up in some foil. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is these bones still have the bone marrow in there, is I'm gonna pour the bone marrow out. Look at that. Nice, clear bone marrow. I'm gonna lay it down on the foil. And this bone marrow is going right over our beef shanks. It's gonna give this some amazing flavor. Now I'm just gonna wrap it up nice and tight and foil. Now I am gonna double wrap these. All right, so I'm gonna place these back inside the smoker for a few hours. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes. Stay tuned. All right, so the beef shanks are ready and the total cook time was right at seven and a half hours. And they reached an internal temperature of 204 degrees and it has been resting for about 35 minutes or so. Can't wait any longer, it smells delicious in here. Oh my goodness. Look at this bad boy right here. All right, so here's our beef shank. That meat just wants to fall off the bone. We got some really nice bark development on this. Super tender. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off our butcher's twine. All right, let's see how tender this is. Oh man, look at this gelatinous meat right here. Wow. It's got a smoke ring through the entire piece of meat. I gotta tell you, the aroma that's coming from this beef shank right here is unbelievable. Look at this, falls right apart. You know what surprises me? Is that this is a very lean piece of meat and it's still really nice and juicy. This is not dry one bit. Now you can chop this up with a cleaver or just shred it with your hands like I'm doing right here. All right, I think that's enough meat for some tacos. I'll bring you guys right back. All right, I've got a corn tortilla. You can use corn or flour. Man, look at this. That color of the meat is ridiculous. We got a really nice smoke ring in there. Almost through the entire piece of meat right there. I'm gonna add some cilantro, some fresh pickled red onions. Just made these today. Little cotija cheese. And some of Mama's homemade salsa. Oh yeah, who wants some? Let's give it a taste. All right, let's see how we did on this beef shank taco. Check that out. Thor's hammer, AKA volcano shank. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Man, that taco was absolutely savage. So much flavor in that. Check this out. I'm gonna try the meat by itself. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I honestly thought that these beef shanks would taste a lot like a beef cheek, but it doesn't. It's got its own unique flavor, a little bit rich, but so full of flavor. Mm. I mean, I can honestly sit here and eat this entire pile of meat. Mm. Mm. 
Don't forget to check out Porter Road and get yourself that 15% discount on your first order of beef shanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.